Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. Just want to start off by saying thank you so much for just being here, supporting me and taking time out of your busy day to come check out my content. Like I say in all my videos, it really means a lot and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for being here. Um, also, I've been having some microphone issues with my iPhone, so I apologize if the audio is a little messed up. Um, I got some dust out of the speaker with a Q-tip. You know, I was trying like a safety pin to get some of the smaller pieces of dust. And I think I just made it worse. So at this point, I probably, I'm overdue for a new phone as well. So, you know, I, I probably just need a new phone, a new microphone setup. So I apologize if the sound is a little off, um, but hey, whatever. I'm still here making a video, so. Uh, I'm excited for today's shave, so let's see what we got. So, soap for today is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Garden of Bali. Really awesome label there, as usual with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You got the dinosaur, you got this guy here. Very kind of South Southeast Asian type of vibe, kind of like a Bali sort of thing. One of my favorite labels in my den, hands down. Absolutely love this label. Let's take a peek at the soap here. I always like looking at the soap. I always like in shave videos when they actually get a good look at the soap too. I don't know why. It's just, it's cool to see. Probably my most, this is a very, most PAA soaps aren't this white, but this one is very, very white. I actually really like how this one looks. It kind of, every time I open it up, it kind of just looks like a cloud. Just really, really cool. Um, CK1. Yeah, look at that. CK1, it's hard to believe that this is now unobtainium. Um, crazy, right? I never thought I would be saying that, but PAA, they only carry CK6 now, which is also a very good base, but I like both bases. So it's kind of a bummer that CK1 is now gone. It was a little bit cheaper. Um, in, my, in my opinion, both bases perform pretty similar. So I always did go with CK1. Um, but the CK6 soaps, they're now a good price because he offers them in a, a normal four ounce jar instead of the old five ounce ones. So, um, you know, you do what you got to do, but yep. CK1, unobtainium, funny. All right. So that is the Garden of Bali. And we got the matching aftershave here. Also love how that aftershave bottle looks. Ran it down a little bit here. Um, I've had this one for a while and I did, it's amazing how long aftershaves last, you know what I mean? So definitely got a good little bit ran down there. And this is one of the rare soaps, soap sets that I have the cologne for, which is right here. Um, so I actually, I got the, the only other cologne I have is Ghost Town Barber, uh, or, sorry, Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber is the only other cologne I have. Um, and the reason I got that one and Garden of Bali is because those two, those are my fiance's two favorite scents in my shave den. So of course I had to get the cologne. Um, I'm not really a big cologne guy when it comes to these shaving sets. Um, honestly, if I want to smell like it on a day I'm not shaving, I'll just throw in the aftershave because for whatever reason, aftershaves, they last a while on my skin. So I usually just throw on the aftershave and I'm good. And especially with the Phoenix ones, they're actually aftershaves and colognes. So uh, the PA aftershaves, in my opinion, are really good. And the scent lasts a while on me, hours and hours. So I don't usually feel the need to get the, the cologne for a lot of soap sets. So but I do have this one. I'm going to put it on at the end of the shave here. So even ran that down a little bit too. <laughs> it's kind of a unisex scent. My fiance also throws this on, so I guess that kind of explains it. Really cool bottles there too with the PA colognes. All right, let's move on to the uh, razor for today. So I like to think I'm a good gem shaver, <laughs> but uh, my last gem shave, it didn't really go that great. So I'm busting out another one today. So this is just a normal gem, Micromatic. Like this was given to me by my fellow wet shaver, Elemental Hero Joe. 
great guy. I'll be sure to link to his channel in my description for those of you who want to go check him out. Um, he was really generous and he gave me a bunch of these gem razors. Um, I told him I like gems, so he polished them up and gave me a couple. And this is one of them. This is just the normal gem Micromatic. I think this one is from the 20s or 30s, I believe. Maybe the 30s or 40s, one of those. Um, currently, my favorite one that he gave me is this one. So this is the open comb version, which is pretty aggressive. And for those of you who watch my channel a lot, you know I like aggressive razors because I have pretty coarse hair. So this one is great. But it's been a little bit since I've used the normal Micromatic one here. Um, but it's still, I think it's still pretty aggressive. I mean, if you can kind of see, it's got some pretty good blade exposure there. So um, I just saw this one on my den today. I'm like, you know what? I kind of just want to bust this one out and see how it goes. I like gems a lot, but um, apparently I still need some practice with them. So kind of wanted to bust out the gem micromatic today with a fresh gem blade. We're going to see how that goes. All right, let's take a look at the lather here. Garden of Bali, pre or shave bowl, really nice lather. All right, and Yaki, small little brush, Yaki Sagrada Familia. Said this in my, maybe two videos ago. Excuse me, maybe my last video. Let me take a sip of water here real quick. Got this for $7 free shipping from China. Nice small brush. Love Yaki brushes and it whips up a really nice lather. Look at that. So I haven't been putting as much water in my lathers lately. Typically I do use a good amount of water, but lately I haven't really been hydrating it as much. I've been preferring sort of a denser lather. So this one still definitely has that density to it. So we're gonna see how that goes today. Really good soap base, CK1. I know a lot of people like it. All right, let's go ahead and wet the face. Okay. Boom, really nice. Yeah, one of these days I wanna do my shave or I'm just <laughs> looking at the camera. Probably could do it for this video, but I'm not going to. You know, I got a really nice lather here with the CK1. <laughs> Still can't believe it's uh, on Obtanium, but CK6 is still, that's also still a really good base. So, you know, I'm not in the soap making business, so I'm not going to pretend like I know the ins and outs, but you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Nice small brush here. I really like this one. Yeah, and the only reason this one was cheap is because there's no, there's usually like a little Yaki logo on the bottom of it, but there's not one on here, but I don't really care. I mean, I don't care about that stuff. Nice fluffy lather here with the Garden of Bali. Um, yeah, so funny story with, with Garden of Bali. I've had this soap for Man, I've probably had this one for three years now. Um, and yeah, this is my fiance's favorite scent in my entire den, along with Ghost Town Barber from Chiseled Face. That one is number one, the Ghost Town Barber, but this one is like right in number two spot, the Garden of Bali. Um, I don't blame her. It's a really great scent. It's not like my favorite scent in the world, but it's, I could see why it's hers. She's really in the floral scents. We'll go with that lather. I'm not going to spend a, too much time lathering <laughs> in this video. That's good enough. You get the mustache. Um, but yeah, funny story with this one. For whatever reason, PAA, like, they discontinued it not long ago, but then they brought it back. I really... I was very shocked when they discontinued this one because... Uh, well, one, it's a great scent, and two, um, back in the day when I got my first sampler pack of 
PAA aftershave colognes, which look like this. And by the way, that's one of my favorite things about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. These little, these little $1 aftershave samples, if you're in the U.S. Um, man, they're just so awesome for testing out scents. And if there's one you don't like, you're only out a dollar. One of my absolute favorite things about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, I just love these things. I probably got like 20 of them in here. <laughs> um, and I keep going back to PA to get more and more. I just, you know... It's, I really, really like that they offer that. So, um, so whenever I get some in, my fiance and I, we always test out those aftershaves. And we were smelling them. And she was like, yeah, this one's good. Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, that's okay. But when we got to Garden of Bali, she was like, wow. Like, she could not stop smelling it. She was just blown away. She was like, man, this is like one of the best things I've ever smelled in my life. Like, she just, she couldn't, just couldn't put it away. Um... And also, there's there was a video by, I'm probably going to get the name wrong, I think it's the guy from Fragrance Bros. I don't really watch his YouTube channel a lot, but I know he's kind of big in the fragrance community, but there was a video a couple years ago of him reviewing Phoenix, Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements scents, and um, he was with an, his friend who's also in the fragrance community. Good audio feedback there. And when they smelled Garden of Bali, they were like, wow, like this is like, they liked the other ones, but when they smelled Garden of Bali, they were like, wow, 10 out of 10. Like, this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. Um, so I was, I was just kind of surprised when Phoenix discontinued it because it's it's really loved by a lot of people. It is it is a, a very, very great scent. But... I don't know, maybe they just did it, so maybe it's like a marketing thing, who knows, but it's back now, and I'm, I'm glad it is, because um, it's a really, really good floral scent, so I'll try to find that video of the guy from Fragrance Bros reviewing the Phoenix aftershaves with his buddy. If I can find it, I'll put it in my description, but... They just loved Garden of Bali, and when I watched that video back in the day, I had to pick it up, and I'm glad I did because my it's my fiance's second favorite scent. She's obsessed with it, and it's really awesome. And yeah, this gem is aggressive, this one. Uh, the other one I have, the Open Comb, this one is the most aggressive, but <laughs> this one is also doing a good job of mowing down I, I probably got like a week and a half of growth here and it's mowing it down really good, so. Um, so I will start off by saying with this scent that if you're not a fan of, I don't think it's for everyone. Like if you're not a, kind of shaving all over the place here. If you're not a fan of florals, it's probably not up your alley. This is a pretty floral heavy scent. I could really hear the, uh, the blade cut in there. <laughs> and I'm kind of going to do an experiment in the neck. Um, lately, I've kind of been shaving with the grain on the neck, and it sort of seems like a waste of time because of the way my neck hair grows. So I think I'm just going to shave against the grain on the neck and just see how it goes. So... that really cool you can see a lot of the hair in there um so for those of you guys who are into florals this is a really good scent um, i'm slowly getting more into florals they're not my number one scent but i'm slowly getting more into them uh, over time over my time in the hobby i began to like florals more and more when i first started wasn't a huge fan I guess I, I don't know, I thought a lot of them kind of smelled feminine, but Garden of Bali is a good unisex, 
a good unisex scent. Like I said, my wow, you could really <laughs> this is uh, this is cutting for sure. Yeah, my fiance wears the cologne a lot. Yeah, she's cutting. <laughs> she is cutting for sure. All right, we're gonna shave uh, with the grain over here. I really like the sound of this razor, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of having a little bit of trouble getting some of the chin hair there, but I'm gonna get it on the next pass. Mm. Oh, they gotta work on my angle on the chin there. Yeah, I'll get it on the next one. See if some of the residual slickness will kind of buff that out a little bit. Yeah, I got a lot of growth, so it's a lot to go through. So, <laughs> like I said, probably need a little bit more practice with the gems here. But, yeah, wow, definitely missed a lot on there. Yeah, I'll get the rest in the next buzz. Yeah, my bathroom mirror, it's easier to see in my bathroom, so sometimes shaving out here, I, <laughs> a little bit tougher, but... Still, still pretty manageable. All right. Yeah, hopefully we'll knock it down on this pass here, so. Really nice slather here. So there's a lot going on in Garden of Bali. I mean, <laughs> We got lime, lemon, grapefruit, orange, orange blossom, sea salt, ambergris, seaweed, ozone, amber, moss, benzoin, cedar, and bamboo. So definitely a lot going on. Um, to me, Garden of Bali smells, it literally smells as if you're standing, like if you're in Bali and somewhere in Southeast Asia, you're standing right in the middle of like a Southeast Asian garden kind of also maybe if it was like by the sea you definitely get a little bit of the little touch of the sea saltiness in there but if you're in a southeast asian jungle if you're like in the middle of it that's what this smells like to me it's very realistic too um it's not to my nose it is not a synthetic garden scent it's a it's a it's as if it's a very real kind of floral um rainforest garden scent very green tropical garden scent um, and it really is a beautiful scent. It, it really, really is. Um, so I was surprised when PEA discontinued it. But I'm glad it's back now.
Yeah, so far so good with the, the gem here. Kind of weird a little earlier in the chin. There were some parts that I just couldn't get the angle right. I don't know, but it's part of the fun of this hobby. You just kind of learn as you go. Um, but there's no nicks, which is good. So, yeah, we're going to keep going. This is a good one. Um, there's a lot of citrus notes in here, but he says in the PA site, like, don't really be fooled by those because... Um, the first thing that jumps out at me in Garden of Bali is kind of that green bamboo floral scent. And then the citruses are kind of in the background to kind of give it a slight sweetness and kind of round out that that bamboo, the floralness from the green bamboo. Um, it's a really well blended scent. It's yeah, like it literally smells like a if you're actually in like a Southeast Asian tropical garden, like I guess if you've ever been to like, so if you've never been to like the Southeast Asian jungle, like, I guess if you've been to like, if you have one of those big public garden type places, uh, I have one near me called Longwood Gardens. Like if you've ever like been to a greenhouse there and you've like stood in the middle of it and just taken a whiff of everything. Um, to me, that's what Garden of Bali smells like. It's a really nice, it's a really nice floral. It's not too feminine because a lot of the greenery in there. Um, I think it does make a good unisex scent. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this aftershave, a lot. And when I put it on at night, I can still smell it on myself the next morning. Um, all right. I think on the chin, this gem is doing a better job. It's probably going to do a better job going against because for whatever reason, going with the grain on the chin, just the angle just wasn't working right. But we'll see if this attacks it. You can hear it cutting pretty good. Yeah, maybe this one isn't as aggressive as I thought it was. You can hear it cutting, but... It was getting a little... A little awkward on the chin, but... Yeah, my chin hair is really coarse, so... There's no surprise there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's go across on the mustache. Uh, this is this razor sings. Yeah, she sings. There's a lot of razors, out, loud razors out there, but this one, this one is high on the list. Yeah, taking down a lot of growth, pretty good here. So. All right, looks like a good shave, feels like a good shave. So let's go ahead and uh, rinse off here and get the aftershave going. Um, yeah, for anyone else who has smelled Garden of Bali, I would be curious about your thoughts because, again, I think if you're into florals, this is a winner. If you're not, it probably wouldn't be. I missed a little bit up here. But I love it. I think it's a really nice green tropical garden type scent. Really, really realistic to my nose. Really great scent. Well, pretty good. There was no nicks. It's a pretty decent shave with the gem here. Um, I definitely get better shaves with this guy, the open comb. But um, this one was okay. A little, a little mild in some parts, but. You know, just 
practice makes perfect. So, all right, let's get the splash guy in here. Yeah, I think in the splash, I'm getting a little, kind of getting a little more of that, that like sea saltiness along with everything. But yeah, I, up front, I, I mainly definitely, even though the top notes are a lot of those citrus notes, like up front, I definitely kind of get that bamboo and it seems like the rest of the notes are kind of um, sitting in back of the greenness from the bamboo. But it's a very well blended scent, really, really nice. I can see why a lot of people like this one. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't smell like a floral candle in the store. This actually it smells like if you took a plant from like a tropical greenhouse and just <laughs> like a green plant and smeared it on you. It's just great summer scent. All right, well, that was a great shape with the gem, a little bit interesting in some spots, but uh, Nick Free, comfortable shape. Can't go wrong with that, so... Um, anyways, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Hope everyone is doing well and having a good middle of their, their summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. But yeah, I just want to thank everyone for stopping by to watch today. And until next time, take care and I will be back soon. Thank you.